Hi there, here we are again. Um, you've just got me again. Liam's got another week off. And um, I'll quickly run through this week's runners or this weekend's runners, as well as wish you all a, a Merry Christmas to you and your family and friends. Hope you have a great time over the next week. And we'll look forward to the new year with plenty more winners. And if we can improve on last year, it'll be something special. And we'll do everything we can to make sure that happens. So make sure everyone stays safe and has a great time. Uh, last week we had a pretty good week. Frustrating day Saturday, we had a lot of hard luck stories. Fortunately, we did get a couple of winners. Bascule was very impressive at Flemington. And Christy Lee came with a nice time run at Rose Hill. And, uh, this week we look to have lots of chances spread over a, a number of venues. I'll quickly go through them. There's too many to, to, um, to, to take up too much time. So we'll go to Sandown first of all on Boxing Day, Sense and Reason, Barrier 3, Glen Boss. Worked very well. She's been in Melbourne for some time and uh, looks to have a great chance. Yellen, won her last start, a few weeks since she last raced however. Um, big step up from a maiden in Victoria to a Saturday race, well not a Saturday race, it's a, yeah it is a Saturday race on Boxing Day. So um, it's a big step, um, but they need to take those steps to get to the next level. I don't know if she can win Saturday, but she'll, she'll come back after going for a spell, a pretty handy horse, and we'll look at getting her up in distance, which is what you'd expect for a daughter of Pentai. I'll quickly go through the Provincials on Saturday, or Friday, Boxing Day, Newcastle. Buchanan, I think he's a really good chance. His form's terrible as have his trials been, but he's worked really well and he will appreciate the 2300 metres that he's racing over. So, could be one to start the day off well at Newcastle. Then we go to Hoy Wedge and Siddiqua, just um, three year old fillies and a 1400 metre maiden. Um, they've been, well their work's been okay, 1200 metre maiden, sorry. Their work's been okay, hard to get two and thirst over them. Sadika, we thought she was a lot better than what she's showing, so let's hope she can bounce back to some form. And Hoy Wedge might just need a run or two to find her form. Reva Romantica looks very well placed at, at Newcastle. She should be hard to beat. Royal Ramwick on Boxing Day. Good um, number of runners. Dan Jew in the first, 1800 metre maiden. Work's been solid, ready for this distance. Should be competitive, as should Benindi in the same race. Barrier 12, Jim Cassidy board. Need a little bit of luck, but uh, her work's been good also. Liberty Island. Pretty promising horse, this horse, and had no luck and not suited to barrier draws, tempo of races, etc. Looks to get every chance from a good barrier with Hugh Bowman aboard on Friday, as does Electrify, and he's drawn on his inside. Jim Cassidy aboard will ride this boy a little bit quieter. Hasn't really been finishing his races off, hence the reason for a change in tactics. Also removed the blinkers from him. Next race is Miss Denny. Second um, race day start will be on Friday. She's drawn well with Barry and Five. Kathy O'Hara aboard. She's on a few for us on Friday just because the, the riding ranks are quite thin and you certainly lose nothing with Kathy. She's a good, solid rider. And in the same race, we've got Treasure Ball. Both coming out of the, the same race last start where um, they didn't go that quick in front and they sprinted home and these two horses worked home okay but both will appreciate Friday's distance of 1400 metres so probably need to improve a little bit to win but they are certainly city class horses in the making in my opinion. Next race is race four, Centralism and Hattaclam. Um, Sensualism's been running consistently well without breaking through for a win this prep, so uh, she might be another one just ridden a little bit quieter. She's dropping back from 1800 to 1400, barrier 9, with a 2 kilo claimer aboard, so just go back, make it easy for the horse and rider to see how she gets home. Hattie Clam raced at Canterbury last start with the rail at 8 metres, nothing really made up much ground, so there's a genuine excuse there for her but does need to improve. Over to the Summer Cup, 
Um, I'm imposing the top weight of 59 kilos. Won the race last year and his form's been impeccable this preparation, including a, a solid second in the Villiers last start. Um, gee, it's hard to fault him, uh, apart from the big weight. But I think again, he'll be very hard to beat. Hoi Lonnie's in there. Um, hard to get a line on Hoi Lonnie, but he's always competitive when he's at the right distance and at the right stage of his preparation and second up form's not too bad. So he's a rough chance, um, as is multilateral. I wouldn't be too concerned about his run in the Villiers. I think second up over the mile, he was a little bit flat. Um, barrier two, Cathy O'Hara aboard. Should get a nice run midfield, switch off, see how he finishes off. And if there's any rain about, he'll certainly keep them honest. I think that's it for, for Ramwick on Friday. So, Mooney Valley, Saturday, I think we've just got the one runner, Murphy's Delight. He's drawn barrier seven, 60 kilos to carry. Uh, so we're claiming two kilos with Damien Thornton. Running very consistently, this horse. Um, always in the money, and I don't think Saturday will be any exception. He should be right there. Through to Canterbury on Saturday. We've got uh, Jupim in race two. Um, just the two year olds are scratched out of the first race. They've both fallen very wide. They'll be saved for other days. So Jupim, barrier two, sorry, barrier eight of eight. Similar to last start, but the difference is he was racing at Ramwick last start where you can get away with making up ground in the straight. Canterbury, not quite as easy. So Ty England will need to have his wits about him. Uh, fortunately, the rail is in the true position, and if there's speed on them, well, certainly they can make up ground. So, pretty promising horse, this boy, and both runs back from Spell have been of a very high standard. Mam Wazel in race four, she's, uh, she's well placed in this race. Much better run last start. Barrier five of eight with Hugh Bowman aboard should get a lovely run. I think she'll be pretty competitive and hard to beat. Amavaccio is our f the first of our three or four runners in the 1550, which is race five. Tom Berry takes the ride, barrier three. Should be able to ride him a little bit closer. Doesn't need to be hard up on the speed, but if he could settle sixth or seventh, I think it would be a huge advantage. And safely through Saturday's race, he'll head up to the Gold Coast for Magic Millions Day. There's an 1800 metre race up there for him. You'll never, probably back up after... Um, Running third last Saturday, uh, he'll appreciate the extra distance, he's got a good draw and he's got Christian Reith aboard. I love using these jockeys when they come back from Hong Kong, they're sharp, they're in form, they're, well not so much in form but they're fit and certainly they've been used to intense riding. They come back here and they've got a point to prove so to speak, so hence the reason why we've snapped up the services of Christian Reith on Saturday. Black Jags there, he'll get down to 52 kilos with Serge Lisney aboard. He runs well for Serge. He'll set up a good solid tempo and quite often hard to beat if left alone out at the front. Pythagorean's the fourth, but we might save him for another race in a few weeks' time. There's a race coming up at Ramwick on the 10th, to, uh, which I think will suit him a little bit better than this race on Saturday. It's got Barry 9, wouldn't be easy. Plus we've done a lot of hard work to get him settled, firing him up out of the barrier. Nine from the 1550 metre start at Canterbury wouldn't be favourable for a long term perspective. Hart Tester, he races in the Canterbury Classic, 1200 metre race on Saturday, barrier three in a field of 11, sorry, barrier seven in a field of 11. Tough race, gee, he's going to be up against it, but. He struggled in the 1500 last start, hence the reason why I would freshen him up and brought him back in trip. But it's a good field, he might just struggle. Religify in race 7, he was scratched last Saturday. He just had a very small cut on his chest, which has since been passed clear to race, and it certainly hasn't held, up, held his work up. Absolutely flew on Monday morning when working out on, on the grass, and his normal track rider was very happy with his work. So, Tom Berry takes the ride, barrier three, he'll certainly show um, some speed and he'll be hard to pull back, so 
certainly looks a good chance, if not the best chance of the day. Made to order rounds out the, um, the runners for the day. Barrier 7 in a field of 14. Uh, four emergencies. Some of those might even scratch, so we could even come closer. She trialled very impressively on Tuesday morning. It was just a, a quiet trial, yet she won it, but did it on her own speed, wasn't put under any pressure to do so. The reason for trialling was simply because she had five weeks between, well, she would have been having five weeks between runs, so I think that trial just not only takes their um, fitness levels up back to where they should be, but it also just gets rid of those butterflies and, and cleans them out. Sometimes five weeks between runs they can get a bit fresh and over race. So that's a roundup of our runners. Um, Liam Price should be back next week, unless he's taking a third week off. You'll have to wait and see. Thanks very much and have a good Christmas.